Welcome back, folks. Disney, the mouse house, as I've pointed out here for months, Disney has lost an astounding $200 billion in market value since it went ultra woke and picked a fight with Governor Ron DeSantis right here in Florida. But Disney is its own worst enemy. Yesterday, Disney CEO Bob Iger was on CNBC trying to stop the bleeding with investors. Bob Iger made some wild comments as to what Disney stands for. You won't believe what he said. Watch. I don't really want to engage in the specifics except to say that it's, it's not our goal to be involved in a culture war. No, really, really, Bob, CEO of Disney, saying they don't want to fight culture wars. That company has bled hundreds of billions of dollars for doing exactly that. Allow me to refresh your obviously fleeting recollection, Bob. Our leadership over there has been so welcoming to, like, my, like, not at all secret gay agenda. I don't have to be afraid to, like, let's have these two characters kiss. Let's, in the background, this are, like, I was just, wherever I could, just basically adding queerness to, like, the, if you see anything queer in the show. Mm -hmm. So you were busted pushing a trans and queer agenda into content you produced for children, and the war was on. And you, Disney, you've been getting slaughtered ever since. Your stock has plummeted. Your theme park traffic is falling like a rock. And your streaming services, Hulu and Disney Plus, are hemorrhaging money. Perhaps, just perhaps, you should wave the white flag. Declare no mas. Throw in the towel. Go broke, you'll bro go broke, you know. That would make business sense. Disney, on the other hand, under Bob Iger, isn't quitting you, woke mob. Don't worry. Look what we found, and we just found this. Disney's classic Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Should be Seven Dwarfs there. Oh, there they are. Has now been remade. Get this. It's called Snow White and Her Seven Companions now. They took six of the dwarves away. There's only one dwarf now. The other six have been bounced and replaced by quite the diversity crew. I'd say firing six dwarves. Disney should be sent to media diversity training for being dwarfist. I mean, firing all those dwarves. Not cool, Disney. Not cool. Well, let's bring in a former Disney employee and national director of development for Rethink GOP, Corey Gibson. Corey, $200 billion market slash. Uh, we saw it today. We don't have the rights to show you the picture yet. We're trying to get that. But the, the picture shows Snow White, the new Snow White, one dwarf and six very diverse characters. And it's now called Snow White and her seven companions. Uh, they, they're not going, they're not walking any of this wokeness back, are they? It would appear not. They don't want to. They don't want to get involved in a culture war. They sure seem to want to start uh, a, a culture war. You know, it's like we cross these new lines every single day, and we have to keep asking ourselves: like, it, are we ever going to be surprised anymore? It is an unbelievably crazy scenario that's happening right now with Disney. They're losing massive amounts of money, um, and. And it's not DeSantis that's picking on them, by the way. It's the voters that have decided they want somebody to stick up for their children. And that's why they voted DeSantis in to take care of this. Yeah. Um, so let's show the soundbite of, of Bob Iger also yesterday. He said they're not in the business of sexualizing children. Let's hear, hear this and then let's talk about it on the backside. The notion that Disney is in any way sexualizing children, quite frankly, is, is preposterous um, and inaccurate. However, we had that content uh, vice president of content saying she, flailing her hands all over the place, injected queer content anywhere she could. And folks, let's remember, Disney makes content for children. How is that not sexualizing children, Corey? That's a good point. It's like it's become a company that that's what it's supposed to do. It's like internally their new objective is to push ideology over entertainment and um and the backlash is going to continue i mean you know it's it's but what needs to happen to disney is what happened to budweiser they the this is why uh capitalism is such an enemy to uh to oppress oppression you know this gives the the power of consumers enough power to start fighting back and that's what you're seeing and they're crazy i mean i'm surprised at this point that cinderella is still white to be perfectly honest with you um, and then they changed uh, rides, right? So the ride uh, Splash Mountain has now been turned into uh, Princess and the Frog, which I love. It's a great movie. But everything they do is about ideology. It's all virtue signaling. Everything they do now.
and they, they're getting the backlash. And they're getting the they back. Do. They're getting the backlash, and their stocks are plummeting. Anheuser Busch is you know, Bud Light went from number one beer in America to number fourteen. They've lost thirty or forty billion dollars in sales and market cap, but none of them come out and say we made a mistake. We didn't mean to do this. They keep. They keep. I don't know. I, you know but Anheuser Busch said. We're, we're not going to do it anymore, but they didn't say we made a mistake doing it. The American people, I think conservatives who are causing these, these slides and these stock prices would probably come back if they just said, we're sorry, we made a mistake, come back. I, I think so. I, I think so 100%. What people want, and it's not just conservatives at this point, although I think this is creating a lot more conservatives, um, it, what people want is they want to return to, to normalcy. They want to return to companies that are focused on entertainment, schools that are focused on education, you know? Um, and what, what we're getting instead is we're getting sort of like layer upon layer upon layer. They keep doubling down on this stuff. And at some point, we're reaching a breaking point in this country. And the people are going to start fighting back. And exactly what you saw happen with Budweiser and what you saw happening with Target, the same thing is going to happen to all of these companies. This woke craziness is not mainstream. And it's just not mainstream. It's dictated by, by a few people in echo chambers that seem to think that they have their finger on the pulse of America or what's right, and they are doing everything exactly wrong. Everything. Yeah. We're, next week, we're going to dip into uh, the new conservative boycott. We've, for a long time, conservatives have said we're not going to boycott. We're against that. But we're finding out if we play the game the way the left plays a game, Sometimes it works. Corey Gibson, always good having you on. Thanks for joining Absolutely. us.